Hey folks, it's Jimmy Stewart here. Hope this is finding you all doing well. Today's video is going to be something a little bit different. We've been doing some different videos recently. We did some acoustic guitars and we did some tomans and all that kind of good stuff. But I've been getting a lot of questions about some of the amplifiers I use here in the studio. So I figured I'd go over and, you know, give you a small review of a couple of them. And today's is going to be on the Monoprice 15 watt stage right amplifier. It's a tube amp and I'll go into all the specs of it and then we'll do some test tones with it as well. Now, some of you have asked me about the Boss Katana amplifier that I have here as well and I will do another review on the Boss Katana. Uh, it is the Mark I version, not the Mark II. I got it over a year ago uh, but I haven't played with it all that much. Again, I kind of prefer valve amps and I have, you know, as you see behind me, a Laney AC3212 and I have the mono price which is a single 12 15 watt and that's a little bit easier to tame in the studio um, to keep the volumes down and what have you but <clears throat> we'll go through them and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy that and I'll talk about the specs and give you some sound samples using a few different guitars uh, with effects and without effects okay so we'll take it from there and hopefully you'll enjoy these videos coming up on the amplifiers Thanks for watching, folks. Okay, well, here's the close up video of the Monoprice Stage Right 15 watt valve amp. As you can see, it's done in the kind of an off white Tolex, kind of a 40s, 50s type of retro look, which I like. Uh, it's got a nice grill cloth, it's got the older style chicken head uh, controls. It's a single input, which is different from the original version. The original version um, had the controls on the top, and they had two inputs. One would be the input for the 1 watt section, and the other input was the input for the 15 watt section, kind of like the Laney Cub 12 currently is, but they've moved the controls to the front now. Uh, one of the cons is a simple on-off. There is no standby on this. I wish it had one, but it doesn't. And as you can see, there's the, uh, the leather handle on the top, which is nice. And it's built pretty nice. It's not birch or plywood or anything like that. It's a compressed uh, wood cabinet. But they did a good job of, of tolexing it. And it's got pretty good set of feet and I, like I said it's got the uh, the chicken head knobs there they're all very smooth and they work fine it's got metal corner protectors all the way around and there's your switch 1 watt to 15 watt switch which, like I said, is different from the original version where the controls are on top. Uh, it, again, it's a 15 watt amp. Um, for the preamp section, it has three 12 AX7 tubes that are running the preamp in the reverb, and then it's powered by two EL84 power tubes. Here's a look at the back. You've got an external speaker cab on the back. 8 to 16 ohms. Uh, it does have a, an effects send and return on the back as well. And a standard FS1 foot switch that turns your reverb on and off, and that's all it does. It, strictly for reverb on and off. Open back type cab in the back. There's your Celestian 7080. 12 inch speaker. One of the first things people want to do is replace that speaker, and I'm not sure why. It's, it's, it's not the greatest, but it's fine. And in fact, it, as, it, as you play it more and more, it breaks it in and it sounds even better. So I'm leaving it for now. And there's the upgraded reverb box down below with the RCA jacks in and out. It's a, that's an upgrade from the year prior as well. 
a two spring reverb. I did buy a three spring for it, but I haven't put it in yet because I haven't found the need. Another one of the small cons, as far as I'm concerned, is that the actual power lead from the amp. I wish it had a a pull-out type of power plug, but it's wired direct in there. So, again, small thing, but one of my cons. Again, nice little amp, about 25 and a half pounds, so easy to move around. Uh, I wouldn't be throwing it in the back of an equipment van, especially any type of tube amp, but I'm sure if you're careful, you can, you know, take it to your gigs and to your band rehearsals or whatever. Mine stays here in the studio, and that's probably where it'll always stay, but I like it, and it does a nice job, especially for the price. Again, it's not hard to move around, 25 pounds or so. One of the other smaller gripes I have is that the controls on the front on that silver background are painted in black, so it's a bit tough to see. But once you get used to where the controls are, it's not a big deal. Okay, so here I'm going to try on the Monoprice. This is the FFPTH. This is the Thinline version uh, Firefly with the dual P90. So we're going to try this first with the P90 type of guitar. Again, semi-hollow. Um, and we'll just play it clean and see what we got. So let me go up here. I'm going to put it on the 1 watt setting. You get a 15 watt and a 1 watt setting here. I'm going to put it on the 1 watt. I'm going to put all your controls at center for the treble, tone, bass, mid, and then leave the gain just a little bit and bring the volume up till about 5. Let's see what we got here. Okay. And my guitar controls are up. So you get some pretty nice clean headroom with it. in the middle position. This is in the bridge. try it with a little bit more gain and break it up a little bit. <clears throat> so I'm going to bring this gain up till around the 5 mark. Just back the volume off a little bit and see what we got. Again, this is in the 1 watt setting. On the bridge in the center. In the neck.
that's on about five on the one watt setting with the volume tone. I think the volume is right around four. Uh, let's try some reverb. Here's the standard reverb tank. Again, this amp is completely stock at the moment. Uh, so. Last year they did upgrade this and they put the new reverb tank in it compared to the older one. The old one was a small tank. This has got the two, it's it's a two um, spring tank. Uh, you might, you know, before you upgrade that, have a listen to it. I think it sounds pretty good. I do have an upgraded tank for it, but I never put it in. <laughs> turn that reverb down a little bit. That was on about three and a half. Let's just, just give it a little, little bit on the two. clean. change guitars. Okay, so here we got, this is the uh, Firefly Les Paul Classic. This is one of the newer ones. Not from the batch that came out just yesterday, but this is from the last batch in January. Uh, this has got the Zebra pickups. These sort of uh, Gibson Slash Zebras. The dual humbuckers. And let's give this a try on here. So let's Start with the gain there and on five and see what we got. Neck. <laughs> 
Let's raise the gain on this one a little bit and see what we got. Five and five. Everything on five. And a little bit of reverb. guitars hey so this is the uh, the Firebird Firefly uh, FFDCS this is a single P90 double cut guitar let's give this a try <clears throat> so we're gonna just bring this up to around five again and leave the gain down a little bit See how this P90 drives a little bit. Thank you. 
if you wanted to, you could bring that gain all the way up. Bring that volume down, you get that really uh, overdriven. <laughs> idea of the sounds you can get from a little 15 watt amp and again I only have that on the one watt setting at 15 watts it is real real loud uh, perfectly I would think uh, rehearsable even giggable in a small place uh, without any question um, and then if it was a larger place you could probably just pop a, a mic on it and send it to the front of the house and yeah I don't think you'd have any problem at all uh, dealing with it uh, in any live setting to be honest with you um, it's a great little lamp I'm going to do one more guitar, or let's do one more, let's do a lipstick on the, uh, on the thin line telly, so. Alright, so here's the Firebird thin line Telecaster. Um, again, this is completely stock with the exception of the Wilkinson brass bridges I put in here, just to test them out, and it still sounds the same as my other one, so. Alright, so let's see what we got here, let's put this starter on uh, just under three on the drive and we'll bring the volume up to five and see what we got middle pickup or middle position Thank you. 
So this is the 338 dual humbuckers, the Firebird 338, semi-hollow. Let's give this one a shot here. We got the, uh, let's see the volume is on, five gain just under three. Everything else center with a little bit of reverb. nice that's in the middle Quite on a three three eight, I don't think. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hopefully that gives you an idea of what a small 15 watt amp tube amp will sound like completely stuck. Now as you play it longer that Celestion speaker in there that 8070 will break in a little bit and start sounding better over time. Uh, the tubes are stock and from what I understand from the folks at Mono Price, they're ruby tubes which aren't bad tubes at all. Uh, they sound fine. You get a little bit of shake and a little bit of a uh, rattle here and there. You know, I have it sitting on a stool, so it's, it is going to rattle. If you put it on the floor, it'd be much better. Um, but you can, I mean, it's the same configuration basically as a uh, Fender uh, Blues Junior or a Laney Club or Cub, the Laney Cub uh, 12. Um, the same configuration in tubes as I explained in the close up video. It's got the uh, the three preamp and the two power amp tubes. So, um, good little amp. I think it sounds great. I don't think there's anything out there that touches it for the money. So, uh, again, look around, uh, shop on Mono Price. They come up with coupons every once in a while. Uh, Amazon has them on sale every once in a while, and you might find some deals on eBay occasionally too. So, right now they're running at 250, 249. Uh, it'll fluctuate off and on. Uh, I don't think you'll ever see it come back down to the 140, 150 mark. I paid about 150 for that one, uh, just not quite a year ago, and uh, it was a pretty good buy. So they're running about 250 now. So uh, you know, if you can grab one, they're still worth it, I think. Uh, but you can catch them on sale 224, even 199 occasionally. Uh, so that's a that's a great buy. So anyway. Jimmy Stewart saying so long for now. We hope you enjoyed the video. Again, I didn't get real in-depth into it. I'm not a, uh, an electronics guru, but I know a little thing about amps here and there. So, And I, I think it's a great buy for the price. Uh, if you're looking for a 15-watt tube amp, again, it's got some nice features to it. A couple of cons, but some nice features to it. I think it's well worth the price. Check them out on Mono Price. And hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you can. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.